Welcome Virgos. I'm back y'all with another video. So yes, it has been a couple of weeks. I haven't seen you guys. So I'm happy to be back guys. I'm happy to be back. Happy to be back. Yes. All right. So this is going to be for the sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node, south node. Hey, Jupiter. If you have Virgo anywhere in your chart, you can utilize this video. All right, so let's talk, Virgos. All right, so before we get into the read, guys, I want to let you guys know about my energy clearing spray. All right, this is a top seller, guys. This sells out so fast, but I, I rarely have gotten a chance to let my subscribers get a chance to get this product because... I've been on Facebook and, and everywhere else except for YouTube for the past couple of weeks. So my next batch that I am getting ready to do out this week, um, I'm giving this chance first to my YouTubers, my subscribers. All right. So this is the energy clearing spray, guys. Um, a lot of people, you know, have let me know their concerns about smudging um some people don't like the smoke some people live with others and they still want an alternative to be able to smudge okay and to still be able to clear that clear the energy so baby girl baby boy i have got the perfect solution guys this product here it has an amazing fragrance okay it has clear quartz crystal is charged when i tell you this is that this it right here. All right, you can use this in your office, in your home, in your car. If you're out in public and you want to just kind of like clear your space, you can spray it, and nobody will know. Like it doesn't smell funny or anything. It has a amazing fragrance. Okay, but listen, guys, you don't want to miss out. This item is twenty percent off today. Okay, twenty percent off. You can head over to the website once you're done listening to your reading, guys. All of that information is going to be in the drop box below on how to purchase this product. I'm seeing you guys the e not email the website to purchase yours today and get twenty percent off. All right, so let's talk Virgos. Let's see what messages we got for my Virgo, honey. What message do we have for Virgos, please? For the month of June, give me a message for my Virgos, please. All right, we got the King of Wands. King of Wands, honey, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. But this is a lot of passion, okay? A lot of drive. All right, tell me more. Is there any more jumpers? Oh, the King of Swords. Lib Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. That King of Wands is Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. What are the messages for my Virgos? So I'm getting two masculine. Oh, King of Pentacles. I'm getting three masculine energies right off the bat. Okay, King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I feel like you're waiting for a communication from someone. I feel like you've been kind of like watching this person here with this Page of Swords energy. You're kind of like keeping an eye on this person. Like I'm getting like you're kind of like wondering what this person is doing. Okay, so let's see what's going on. Knight of Swords. Six of Wands. And the Six of Swords. And the Nine of Wands. Three of Wands. Two of Wands. Ten of Wands. And the Seven of Swords. Okay, wow. Come on, Virgos. Just come on in. I got my window up. So y'all might hear stuff like that going off during this reading. Mm. I feel like you're waiting. You're waiting to take action. I feel like you want to rush in. 
Like you want to rush in. Like you want to rush in with this Knight of Swords. But something's telling you to wait. To take action. Maybe because this gets this person's attention. Tell me, look at this page of swords. Yeah, there's some spying going on. Why is the? Tell me about this king of wands. The eight of pentacles. Eight of pentacles and the four of swords. And with a fortune. Death and the page of pentacles. Okay, so maybe you have you aren't in communication with this person. And you could be thinking about some changes, okay? Some of you may have been seeing five, five, five a lot. A lot of fives. Because I feel like there's some changes. I feel like you're making some type of shift. There's some type of shift in this situation or a shift in you, okay? I feel like you aren't responding to this person or you aren't communicating with this person. Maybe you're hoping that a cycle is completed here. And you want you want that cycle to close and you want a new cycle. You want a new cycle to happen, either with this person or elsewhere. But you're hoping like, yeah, I'm ready to close out. You're ready to close out on this cycle. You want something new. You want some new energy. About the eight of pentacles here. Your, your focus could be on work. You could be working on something. The temperance could be dealing with Sagittarius. But I'm getting that you're you're feeling you're trying to balance things out. You're trying to balance. You're trying to be at peace. I feel like you're trying to balance your life out. So instead of you moving off of impulse, you're sitting back and you're being patient and you're waiting. I keep getting that there's no communication here. Okay, with the lovers, could be dealing with the Gemini, but I'm getting like, there's no communication, okay? Somebody is refraining so hard to not talk to, to this person, to where like, they, <laughs> they're overthinking it. Like, I wonder what's going on. I wonder what they're doing. I wonder what, oh, I, wonder, I just want to rush in right now and see, but nah, let me just sit back. I'm getting somebody also has learned a lesson, especially with this Eight of Pentacles and this Temperance. I'm hearing that lesson learned. Lesson learned. Somebody here could be married or there's a living situation or a long-term relationship here. Somebody's coming in with the offer. Okay, Knight of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. Somebody's coming in with the offer. It's just, it may take a while for this offer to come in, but it's a well-thought-out offer. Okay, and there's lots of spying going on. Somebody could also be holding on to other people. Why is, it, why is the Knight of Swords here? The Emperor and the Five of Wands, yeah. Okay, the Emperor is the Father card. This person could be older than you. Um, there could be a power struggle here i'm getting that as well like some type of power struggle someone struggles someone has control issues someone's get is really hot tempered when they don't have control okay so that's what i'm getting here somebody's really hot tempered it could be you guys y'all could get real real heated real quick if the situation isn't balanced or you feel like it's not going in the way to where you feel like it's going to be beneficial to you or work in your favor you get heated real quick why is the king of swords here? The three of swords, yeah. See, you could be thinking that there's a third party involved. Okay, you could be thinking that there's a third party involved or there's been a breakup. Yeah, see, somebody can't choose. They got options. Somebody here has options. Now, we got the two of swords, the empress, and the seven of cups, the hermit, and the ace of swords. Someone could be asking, hey, do you got other options? And if you do, if I'm an option, then you need to let me know now so I can I can leave this situation. Because I could do I could do this by myself, okay? I could do it by myself, baby. Don't get it, Mr. Scrooge, okay? I could do it by myself. But I feel like, tell me more about this two of swords. 
the justice. Yeah, you feel, you're feeling the challenges, feeling like something isn't balanced or something isn't right. Because there's somebody is, somebody needs to cut off a third party. Somebody needs to cut somebody off because something's not right. Something isn't balanced or somebody, I'm just getting like something's not right to have this other person in the situation. I feel like I'm, I keep getting less than learned. I keep getting it. Why is the six of wands here? The magician, the magician and the six of wands. You're over here manifesting. You're over here manifesting success. Okay. We got chariot and the devil and the ten of swords. Chariot could be cancer. You could be dealing with the Capricorn. But I'm getting like, be careful because I feel like something here is kind of like trying to block you. Block your success with the devil and the ten of swords. It's like, yeah, I'm you're progressing. But then we got somebody throwing out throwing out little pebbles here to kind of stop you. Trying to block your success. Be careful because I see you over here manifesting success. Queen of Swords. And you're very serious about this. Okay. You may be partnering up. You may be busy working on a project. We got the Queen of Cups here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You could be busy uh, manifesting, working on something. I feel like there's a situation in the past that you're regretting as well too. Like you're regretting how something went down or a decision that you made in the past. But you, at that time, you felt like it was the best thing to do. But I feel like you're regretting it now. You're looking back at it, reevaluating it, and then you're looking at it like, eh. And see, in the past, I'm getting you moving on and closing that chapter. There definitely, there's nah, nah, nah. A lot of you guys have been seeing nah, 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 too, as well. I feel like you guys are going through some major transformations. I feel like you have let something go that has happened in the past that was that temper flared and things got out of hand i feel like you've learned the lesson here but maybe you felt like this had it had to be done because somebody had you messed up <laughs> somebody had you fucked up i'm just saying somebody had you real messed up somebody had you messed up you hear me? So the nine of wands is future energy. We got the star. So you and this person could want to get back together. Or you want to get back with this person. I'm going to say that. Maybe you want to get back with this person. You've been talking about a, a new offer. Okay, a new offer look, look, looks like it's coming in. Um... But I feel like it's kind of like in the air. It's in the air. Like a new offer is getting ready to be proposed. But I feel like it. I feel like it's kind of like. Um, I feel like it's kind of slow. Like for this person to get this offer. To offer this to you. But you're keeping an eye on them. You're keeping an eye on this person. You may live with this person. You know. But you're keeping an eye on it. But you, but somebody is getting ready to bring in a new offer. There is a new offer coming in. A new offer is coming. But I'm not sure. We got you guys' energy here with the hermit. Somebody is asking. I feel like you, your guard is up. Because I feel like during this time where this was going on. You just you learn how to depend on you. This person comes back around, and I'm getting someone's mother could be involved, or there's a baby mother, or there's a side person, or whatever. I'm getting also too. Someone is very spiritual. You could be very spiritual with the Empress and the High Priestess. You could be a very intuitive person. You don't have to be a female. And the hermit here, like, I'm getting very, very intuitive. Okay. Someone here is asking for money. Okay. See, this is why your guard is up. Because I'm like, well, okay, well, why is your guard up? Because we got the nine of wands here. Your guard is up because someone starts to ask for favors, ask for things. You feel like this person is hiding something. 
because you want to know like okay well where's your money what's going on with your finances are like what's going on okay you're not sure if this person is just coming around for fun okay so you're not sure if you could trust the offer that's what i'm getting you're not sure if you could trust this offer and here's the offer here from this king of pentacles he's bringing in this knight of pentacles and this hierophant see this person's coming in saying that they're going to be loyal they're going to be faithful this is the offer coming from this king of pentacles okay but i feel like you regretted it in the past so you're gonna wait you you're not you're not jumping on it right away because this person sh did something in the past that made you be like i don't know and i don't feel like you trust this person some of y'all are with the star and the nine of pentacles like look at what you got going on and look at what they got going on that's all i'm gonna say okay it's like you're the catch you're the star but what are they bringing to the table? All right, so we got the three of wands here. You've been waiting for this person's emotions to offer their emotions. You've been waiting for this person to tell you how they feel. This is like what they always do. Like, because I feel like you, you're waiting on it and you know, you know that it's coming. Okay? You've been waiting for them to give you some type of offer of being faithful, of being loyal. You've been waiting on this. You feel like this person that they had their fun. Now you need to come on. You don't had your little fun. Now come on. <laughs> you don't had your little fun. Now come bring me my offer. When is the King of Cups here? Why is the King of Cups here? Seven of Cups. You're waiting for this person to make up their mind. Maybe tell me more about the death card here. This is transformation. This is changes. Oh wow, the ace of pentacles. So this person, you may feel like this person no doesn't have any other options. Um, they may be lacking in the financial department. They may need your help in that department. And I feel like you're deciding that you're not going to go back to the situation because this is what this situation could bring. Five of Pentacles in the Wheel of Fortune. That's just things turning out for bad. Okay, this situation that happened in the past, you haven't fully, like, I feel like you moved on from it, but it still lingers. It still lingers. And this person could be the catalyst of, you know, this lesson that you had to go through. Let's see how this person is feeling over here. We got them as the two of wands. And the lovers. And the ace of cups. So this person could be dealing with a Gemini or a Pisces Cancer Scorpio. Okay. They're holding on. I mean, they're holding back what they want to say. They're holding on to their... They're holding back. But I'm t they're coming with an offer. They they have this offer. But that's something that they have to walk away from. In order to give you this cup. I feel like... I feel like they're, this, they're making a decision. Okay, we got the lovers and the ace of cups. Why is the ace of cups here? The lovers is a decision in love as well. The ace of cups is a cup of love. We got the eight of cups. And see, that's why I say like, I feel like there's an offer here, but there's something that they have to walk away from in order to give you this cup. 
Yep, the Ten of Cups. They have to walk away from something that they're already in. And I feel like they plan on doing that with the Two of Wands. They have to walk away from something that they're already in. Look at this Two of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, and the Knight of Wands. Yes, yeah, see, this person is juggling. They got This person is living like a double life. And it also, this person feels trapped, like they're being forced to do something, like they're being forced into a, a relationship. This person is spying on you. They're spying on you. They're watching you. And this is, they don't, for some, I'm getting like they don't feel comfortable They don't feel comfortable because some type of truth has been revealed about them. I definitely do see with the Nine of Swords and the Five of Swords, this is one hectic ass situation. Um, I do feel like they want to talk to you about the past. Okay, secrets coming out, things being revealed, the moon and the sun, things being revealed. Tell me why the Ten of Wands is here. Yeah, they, I feel like in your hopes and fears, you're worried, you're worrying here because you feel burdened, okay? You feel like you're carrying all the weight in this situation. And if this person is going to keep going back and forth, it's like, what's the point? It's like, what's the point? If you're going to go back and forth, what's the point? I'm not putting in all of this work to be stressed out at the end of this, okay? Now, we got the Seven of Swords as the outcome. Queen of Pentacles. Seven of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. I'm getting that somebody here... Is being dishonest. Somebody here is being dishonest about a connection, a bond that they have. With oh gosh, yes, yeah, see, I'm getting that things could get real aggressive with the seven of wands and the five of swords. So be careful. I'm getting like a physical a physical altercation, possibly with a king of pentacles. I'm getting that somebody is spying here on an empress, on the empress. There could be a pregnancy. Someone could be pregnant. There could be someone's mother or baby mother. But I'm getting that there is some spying. And there is definitely feelings of being disappointed because somebody feels stuck or somebody feels trapped. But I'm getting somebody's being very dishonest. Somebody's not being honest. There's a lot of sneaking around going on in this situation. And I feel like for some of you, you may go back and, and deal with this situation, give this situation another go-round. Some of you are like, hell no. I had my go-round. So let's see what the uh, Romance Love Angels have to say about this situation, please. For Virgos, what messages are there for Virgos? Give me some messages for my Virgos. You deserve love, forgiving, and learning in the heart-to-heart -heart conversation. I knew that. That's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like some of you are going to forgive this person. Y'all going to have a conversation, and you're going to forgive this person. Because you feel like this person is your soulmate, and you're still optimistic. And I feel like some of y'all are willing to let down your guard in this in a sense of where maybe you have you know had outbursts or you get angry real mad get angry really fast i feel like some of you are willing to drop that down to come down to this person's level um in the sake for having this connection but i do feel like go into it with caution if for those that are willing to take this person back Reconciliation, yeah, I told you. And this person is pouring out their feelings here. And they're doing that because they want to come back in. 
All right, so I do see a reconciliation happening, and I do see spirit is saying, but you need to make sure that you are loving yourself first, okay? There's things that need to be healed within you first, okay? But I do see a reconciliation, and this person is feeling like you're their soulmate, all right? So, like I said, guys, be careful because we got deception and give your relationship a chance. Like I said, like this person may be coming back around. They may be going through some financial hardships. This person could be going through going through some things. Okay, so they're leaning and depending on you. Be careful. Make sure when you have this heart to heart conversation, you ask the right questions. Because I feel like once you decide to give this relationship a chance, this person is going to start being deceptive. Okay, so keep that in mind, guys. You know, I'm just the messenger. I can't tell y'all what to do. But that's, you know, it is what it is. All right. So y'all let me know how y'all feel about this read. Comment below in the comment section as well as share with your family and your friends. Hit the like button, y'all. Smash that like button. Let's get this video rolling and in queue. All right. And don't forget, guys, to check out the website. It's in the description box below. And you get 20% off today on your energy clearing spray. All right. Until next time, guys. Ciao for now.